Good morning, everyone. My name is Tom, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Sacramento. We wanted to take a few minutes to talk about a low pressure system that is forecast to move over the region today, bringing with it a chance of thunderstorms in the next several days. In this presentation, we'll highlight what the main impacts will be with these thunderstorms, where we think the greatest likelihood of them will be, and a few lightning safety tips. We expect the first thunderstorms to begin forming along the Sierra Crest right around midday today. These thunderstorms probably won't move around much early on and will likely remain over the highest elevations. However, as the wind pattern aloft changes later this afternoon and evening, we should start to see them try to make a push toward the foothills or even the valley floor. The best chance of lower elevation thunderstorms will be late this afternoon through Sunday morning. Fire danger remains critical today with very warm temperatures, very dry lower atmospheric conditions, and dry fuels. As such, the biggest concerns with these thunderstorms will be fire starts with frequent lightning, gusty and erratic winds, and little rainfall. Here is a map of Northern California showing where we think the best chances of thunderstorms will be this weekend. As mentioned before, the Sierra Crest will likely see the first thunderstorms form and will probably end up with the highest number of lightning strikes. However, most of the mountainous regions will have a chance of thunderstorms over the course of the weekend. Only a slight chance of thunderstorms exists along the Sacramento Valley and the adjacent Sierra foothills. The best timing for possible lower elevation thunderstorms will be late this afternoon through Sunday morning. The low pressure system bringing these thunderstorms is a very slow moving one, and thunderstorm chances will continue through at least the middle of next week. Monday in particular is a challenging forecast. Cooler temperatures and wetter overall conditions will lower fire danger. However, this may be partially offset by the possibility of an even greater coverage of showers and thunderstorms on Monday than what we experience over the weekend. The thunderstorm threat will continue into Tuesday and Wednesday, although chances will diminish each day as the low pressure system begins to shift eastward out of the region. Here are a few lightning safety tips if you happen to get caught in a thunderstorm. The phrase, when thunder roars, go indoors, is very accurate. If you're close enough to hear thunder, then you're close enough to be struck by lightning. In general, stay away from electrical equipment, including corded phones, when a thunderstorm is nearby. Cell phones are safe as long as they're not plugged in. Stay away from windows and doors as a thunderstorm passes by, and of course, don't forget about your pet's well-being. If you happen to be caught in a car while in a thunderstorm, roll up your windows and stay in place. You'll see here links to our homepage, our Facebook page, and our Twitter feed. We do our very best to monitor our social media feeds in times of active weather and aim to provide real-time weather updates. If you happen to get caught in inclement weather, let us know about it on Facebook or Twitter. Thank you very much for listening and have a safe weekend.